Welcome to the MicroMotion How-To Video Series. In this video, we will cover how to properly zero a MicroMotion Coriolis meter and introduce zero verification. The learning objectives are the following. Understand the definitions for zero, factory zero, field zero, and zero verification. Understand the zero verification feature and how it is applied to your process. Know how to properly zero a Coriolis meter using the 5700 transmitter display and ProLink. For the complete set of instructions, please refer to the MicroMotion Transmitter Configuration and Use Manual. The term zero is used to describe many pieces of the flow measurement process. We will focus on the specifics of zero calibration and the zero offset. The definition for zero is the offset required to synchronize the left and right pickoff under conditions of zero flow. The zero established at the certified calibration facilities of micro motion under laboratory conditions is known as the factory zero. The definition for field zero is a zero that is established outside of the calibration facilities of micro motion, such as those established after installation at a customer site. Zero verification is a procedure used to evaluate the stored factory zero and determine whether or not a field zero calibration can improve measurement accuracy. In most cases, the factory zero is more accurate than the field zero. Do not zero the flow meter unless one of the following is true. The zero is required by site procedures. The stored factory zero value fails the zero verification procedure. Do not verify the zero or zero the flow meter if a high severity alarm is active. Correct the cause of the alert, then verify the zero or zero the flow meter. You may verify the zero or zero the flow meter if a low severity alarm is active. Prepare the flow meter. Allow the flow meter electronics to warm up for at least 20 minutes after applying power. Run the process fluid through the sensor until the sensor temperature reaches the normal process operating temperature. Stop flow through the sensor by shutting a downstream isolation valve and then an upstream isolation valve if available. Verify that the sensor is blocked in, that flow has stopped, and that the sensor is completely full of process fluid. Start the zero verification procedure and wait until it completes. If the zero verification procedure fails, Confirm that the sensor is completely blocked in, that flow has stopped, and that the sensor is completely full of process fluid. Verify that the process fluid is not flashing or condensing, and that it does not contain particles that can settle out. Repeat the zero verification procedure. If it fails again, zero the flow meter. The initial conditions for a zero calibration are the same in which the zero verification was performed. If your conditions have changed, re-establish the initial conditions. The meter is blocked in using upstream and downstream valves. Confirm flow has stopped. Check that drive gain, temperature, and density readings are stable. Start the zero procedure and wait until it completes. When the calibration is complete, if the zero procedure was successful, a calibration success message and a new zero value are displayed. If the zero procedure failed, a calibration failed message is displayed. Once the zero calibration procedure has successfully completed, restore normal flow through the sensor by opening the valves. If the zero fails, ensure that there is no flow through the sensor, then retry. Remove or reduce sources of electromechanical noise, then retry. In ProLink, select Device Tools, Calibration, Smart Zero Verification and Calibration. In this menu, select the Verify Zero button. After the zero verification is complete, read the result of the verification and the next course of recommended action. 
The recommended actions are a new zero is recommended or the existing zero does not need to be changed with a recommendation of no new zero needed. If a new zero is recommended, select the Calibrate Zero button. This will open the Zero Calibration menu. Select the Calibrate Zero button in this menu. Once the calibration is complete, it will display a message if the calibration was successful. This concludes the how-to video of zeroing the Coriolis meter and zero verification. In summary, you should now know the following. Understand the definitions for zero, factory zero, field zero, and zero verification. Understand the zero verification feature and how it is applied to your process. Know how to properly zero a Coriolis meter using the 5700 transmitter display and ProLink. For the complete set of instructions, please refer to the Micromotion Transmitter Configuration and Use Manual, which can be found on www.emerson.com.